What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So today we have, well we have another project on the bench and this is the Vivelle Foos Edition 1967 Dodge Cornet and what can I say, uh, another awesome kit by Vivelle. So let's go ahead and show you what we are going to do to it and our plans for it and then all that good stuff. So the body, everything is all pretty much ready for primer, um, so especially the body, the body is the first thing I always do. And what a wonderful body this is. Uh, hardly any cleanup. Mold lines, you know, typical mold lines on the fenders and stuff, but nothing too major. And well, I tested the chassis, but all this fits perfect. The axles fits in there, but it's, it's not glued in. But the body is fucking fantastic. And we do have a body cover picked out. Um, I don't have it right now exactly. <laughs> it's in my drawer, but it is going to be a silver and a very cool silver and I splash paints also we are going to go with some different wheels these wheels actually okay these wheels actually came from the um, Chevy I just built the uh, uh, sub side and these are these fit perfect and these are going to look fantastic under here because these are you know the custom version of the you know of these wheels and they fit perfect well, the axles in a way, but they do fit really good in there, and it snugs in there, and they look very good. I shipped the chrome, and I might paint them black, I'm not really sure. You know, me, my dark colors, so. But, the body is going to get something very special. We are going to do a carbon fiber hood. Here's the hood right here. And this is going to be all carbon fiber, so that's going to look fantastic. Um, I'll get to the carbon fiber piece here in a minute. Um, the engine, all that stuff is, it's pretty much all built, we had to do the Hemi Orange, very cool engine, very went together very well, um, no issues with this thing. We did ship the valve covers, because they are not, they're not chrome in the wheel car, obviously, they're really, you know, big black. So we're going to ship them, and we're going to paint them black, we're going to put, the, we're going to drill the holes in there for the distributor, and all that good stuff. So. Looks good. The everything, you know, I you know me, I ship all my chrome. I shipped everything because you know it's just how the chrome is, how the mounting points are to the trees. So I ship everything, we paint it chrome, and it just looks about better. So the, that's pretty much about it. Not too much going on. Um, like I mentioned, everything's major primer and color for this point. Um, okay, so let's go back to the carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is going to be a hood, it's going to be all carbon fiber, and you're wondering what kind of carbon fibers I use with decals because I did get a lot of questions on when I did my wagon on the hood and the roof. Um, the carbon fiber decals are, well, my best company is I think is Scale More Sports. These carbon fiber decals are just incredible. I have no issues with them. Um, fantastic. They're, they're fun and easy to work with decals. So, and I did get a lot of questions if I am going to do a how-to video on how to do carbon fibers, carbon fiber decals, and there's actually, I'm not sure if you guys saw my community post, but I will mention it again, there is a guy on Instagram, he actually started a YouTube channel, and his name is AE Hobbies. Alright, so that's his channel name, um, go over to his channel, I'm going to tell you guys right now, he is... He's also on Instagram, I, I didn't mention that. Um, he is the best, one of the best, if not the best carbon fiber models out there. I mean, this guy is insane. He is, he's actually on Instagram, he's building, uh, well actually, he, he's building a Lamborghini, and he did a whole thing in carbon fiber. The thing's insane. And right now, I believe he's working on the Ford Mustang GT by Tamiya. He's doing a full body kit, a full carbon fiber body kit on that thing too. Which is all decals, well, you know, by Skill Motor Sports carbon fiber. And he's actually making a video on that on his channel right now. So I highly suggest you guys go over to his channel, check him out, because I'll, I'll be glad to do a how-to video on how to do my carbon fiber, but after seeing him do his carbon fiber, he does his, he, he actually does the same exact steps as I do. So, uh, before I even make a how-to video, um, 
or should I attempt doing one, I want you guys to go over to his channel, check him out, because to be honest, he does the same exact steps as I do. He uses the same setting solutions, same method on how to get the um, air bubbles out by using a Q-tip or a cotton saw, you want to call it, and just time and patience is all it takes. So go over to his channel, I'll put a link to his channel in the description or up here in the corner, his subscribe button, and I'll put his subscribe button at the outro also. Go over there guys, I'm telling you, you will not regret it. He is probably one of the best model builders for carbon fiber. I mean, he's insane. So, go over there and check him out, and you won't regret it. So, I, do get, I did get a lot of questions, lot of questions if I'm going to do the how-to video on how to do carbon fiber decals. But I don't think I have to if you watch him. Give him, give him a chance, watch his channel, watch some of his videos. I'm pretty sure his videos will answer your, you know, your question how I, how to do carbon fiber. But if I do get questions still on, um, if you guys still want me, very really want me to do a how-to video, I will be gladly. But I really want you guys to go over to his channel and check him out. So, but that being said, this thing is pretty much ready. And next time you're gonna see this, hopefully it'll be in paint, if not in primer, hopefully. But until my next video, guys. Like I mentioned, go check him out on his channel. Check out how he does his carbon fiber, because like I said, he does the same thing, same exact method as I do. But until my next video, guys, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye for now.